Welcome back to Tech Mimic, where you can simply view, imitate, replicate, and get on with your day. Today we are taking a little bit of a different approach. This is for the most part an unscripted video, with less talking and explanation than normal. I will show you how to download and install the virtualization software UTM and the latest version of FreeBSD ARM64, at the time of recording, in real time. And in case you are not aware, UTM is a front-end and it is specifically designed to make QEMU more user-friendly on macOS and iOS. The system I am using is an iMac with the Apple M3, so Apple Silicon on ARM architecture. Download UTM from UTM's website at mac.getutm.app. In the UTM gallery, there are many different pre-built images but FreeBSD is not available. It does read near the bottom that ARM64 images are recommended for Apple Silicon devices. Then download your FreeBSD image from freebsd.org, where it is mentioned that most users of FreeBSD will have hardware for AMD64 or ARCH64. These architectures are well supported, always good to have this confirmed. Select ARCH64, and then I'm just going with the ARM64 des ARCH64 des disk1.iso file. While this is downloading, install UTM on your Mac like you would with any other application. and click open when macOS is warning you about the fact that this app was downloaded from the internet. And meanwhile the FreeBSD image has finished downloading, so it's now time to create the virtual machine. I won't mention every individual step, you can follow along on the screen and of course make your own selections. You can play the video at a lower speed if that's more convenient, but what I'm showing you is the normal speed. On the summary page, I will select OpenVM settings to have a look there. On the information tab, let's make this look like FreeBSD by selecting an appropriate icon. On the system tab, ARM64 is reported as the architecture, and the network is just in shared network mode. Time to hit save and then start the virtual machine. And from this point on, it's just like any other FreeBSD installation. If you would like some more details on this, there is a link to the video How to Install FreeBSD 14.3 in the description for your convenience. I will get back to you during the last step of the installer.
easiest here is to not select the reboot but shut down so that we can disconnect the FreeBSD ISO image in the virtual machine settings in UTM. This is to prevent that next time the installer is not started again but the now installed version of FreeBSD on the virtual hard disk. Login as root. And there it is, your FreeBSD ARM64 UTM virtual machine on your Apple Silicon. The command uname-m confirms the ARM64 architecture being used. And after a quick system update, the installation of NeoFets confirms the same. with an amusing CPU of Apple unknown. From here, you can start to explore the various desktop managers linked below, or just use FreeBSD straight from the terminal. That's it, hope it helped, and if it did, please like the video and keep it up. Until next time, bye.